I think when people say uh, the auteur theory of games, it always sounds kind of pretentious because it's a foreign sounding word and it sounds like you're talking about how great you are as a creator. Um, but it really doesn't mean that at all. To me, it just means a human stamp on a, on a, on a work. And it doesn't have to mean one, uh, one person. It can be a team of people that are working together. And that team can be just the, your collaborators or a company like Double Fine. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. I think the important thing is that you're making something that uh, is uniquely um, owned by the people who made it. It doesn't seem like just a generic product that could have been produced by any company, but something that you, you would say, oh, that's a game that's obviously only Double Fine could have made that. That's our goal every time. So I think that stands up for the theory that there is such a thing as an auteur, whether it's an individual or a group of people who can make their stamp on something. And, um, and you might not understand the logic of the, the, the choices they're making, but if you look at the body of work stretched out over time, you see some sorts of patterns emerging as that, that person or group um, deal with similar topics and have a, a distinct point of view on the world that comes through in the work. And that's what makes it a human uh, work. And that's what allows other humans to identify with it. And that's what makes it art to me.